welcome back to my channel for another video. Today's video is going to be short and sweet and I am sharing my homeschool curriculum choices for my kids for next year. If you're new to my channel and just coming across this video, I have about nine to 10 years of curriculum choices videos on my channel documenting the resources and materials and curriculum that I have chosen for my children, um, one of which just graduated um, or is just going to be graduating at the time you guys are seeing this. So you can go back and watch what I used in second grade, in third grade, in fourth grade, and so on, all the way up through 12th grade for my oldest daughter who now has graduated. And we are coming up on my next homeschooling year next year, where for the first time, I will only be homeschooling three of my children. Next year, I will have another senior, I will have a 10th grader, and I will have an 8th grader. So those are the grades that I will be homeschooling next year. Now you guys will see these videos coming out for the curriculum choices for those three um, reflective grade levels. And um, if you have any questions or you wanna find the links to the curriculum that I have chosen, it is in the description box of the video. So without further waiting, let me show you what I am going to be using next year for our homeschool curriculum. Okay, for my son who is going to be in the 10th grade, here is a little look at um, his curriculum. So. Um, first up, like you guys will see in my morning or in my other videos, the morning stuff is the same for all of my kids. So we're going to start our year off with World Watch News, this John MacArthur study on the book of John, um, my daily gratitude journal that I made, um, that I created rather, and then this volume two, World Religions and Cults. Um, we are also going to be doing financial stewardship in our morning time together. For, uh, let's start over here. For history, he is going to be doing Exploring America. This is from Knotgrass. I have all of the components to it, um, as well as the readers. Um, I use this with my older two kids. I didn't pull out all of the literature books because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to have him read those um, or if I'm going to have him read his high school two language arts um, from The Good and the Beautiful, how much reading is involved here. So I'm kind of going to wait on that and make a decision once we get going. Um, but yes, he will be doing that for history. And then this is his language arts. It's high school two from the good and the beautiful. Um, and then for his elective electives this year, he is going to be doing Spanish one. This is from BJU press. I've used this with my older two kids and the other elective course that he is going to be doing is this introduction to logic course. This is from master books. I also use this with my older two kids and I'm going to be doing it with him and his younger sister who is in the eighth grade. I am going to have him read the striving book. That's just a little extra thing for him that I included for the video. Um, here, I, he'll be reading lots of other books, but that one I just had pulled out, so I decided to show it to you guys. Um, and then for science, he is going to be doing biology from BJU Press. I use this course with my older two kids, but it looks different now because it is the sixth edition. So it's recently revised. So this is his book. That's his lab manual. And these are his student handouts. And I also have the lab kit for all of the dissections that will uh, we will be doing for that. So science, electives, language arts, Bible, family stuff, and history. So that's a look at everything he will be using next year, and I will put links to everything in the description. All right, now this is a very light workload for my senior, um, my son who will be in the 12th grade, and that is because he began earning high school credits 
in um, seventh and eighth grade. So his course load from me, as far as curriculum here, is extremely light because he technically could have graduated last year um, with his sister, but I just did not want to do that. I wanted one more year with him and he's a young senior anyway. So his senior year is going to be largely spent on his college dual enrollment with Masters University. Getting ahead, taking some college classes, and he also will be working. And um, I've learned things with my daughter as a senior last year. And so this course load is uh, simply reflective of a kid who has worked extremely hard and already has pretty much earned all of his high school credits, even beyond. So for him, we have the same morning time lineup, the John, John MacArthur study, his um, growing in faith gratitude journal, going through world religions and cults volume two. Um, and then I've had this book and I had it last year, but we never read it. So I want him and his brother to uh, go between the two of them reading this. Um, we're going to be doing financial stewardship as a family, and that will tie in nicely with the one course that I have him doing from me, which is Foundations and Personal Finance from Dave Ramsey. My oldest daughter did this last year, and it was a real blessing to her. So um, he has met all of his credits. He did calculus last year with Shorman Math. Um, so this would technically fall under the math category, but he's He's already set to go. So this is his course load for 12th grade, but keep in mind he will be doing college classes simultaneously and um, working as well. So yes, this is the light senior year that um, every, every kid <laughs> works hard to get to this point. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed a little peek at what I have chosen for whatever child's video this is. Um, I'm gonna use the same intro and outro on all three of these videos. So whichever one you clicked on, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'll be using for them. Just a reminder, the links to everything are in the description box of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And if you are looking for any other uh, years of homeschooling like what I used in the sixth grade. Um, all of those videos are right here on my channel under the curriculum uh, playlist, my homeschool curriculums. And you can go back to the very, very beginning of my homeschooling journey and um, see how it has evolved and changed through the years as far as curriculum choices. Uh, go. So that is all here on my YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're happy to see some curriculum choices on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one very soon.